Hello and welcome back everyone, Baron here. Today we're gonna take a look at something called ferrofluid and it was invented 50 years ago by NASA to use as a magnetic rocket fluid that could be moved in zero gravity by a magnetic field. And today it's actually used in hard drives, speakers, gateboard, and they are looking into use it in biomedicine to actually pilot medicine in the body. But today we're gonna look at the behavior, the properties of it. You can see there are spikes that are created by the magnetic fields and it looks kind of awesome. So we're gonna try this with different magnets, different metals or different shape of metals. And we're also gonna try to transport it through water as well. You can look, when I take it apart from the magnet, these spikes are created. When I take it back, it's followed the edge of the magnet. This is a quite big magnet I have here. We take a closer look at it. And I really like the stain it leaves behind that almost looked like lava. Uh, with this lighting as well, so we try to create some waves here. So let's try something else. We will try a screw. I will grip some fair fluid on. It's created like, like a flower or a cactus maybe, <laughs> I don't know. We can move it around with a with pipette. We will try with a smaller screw. You can actually gather quite a lot in, in the top of the screw. Okay, let's take that food back and let's try something else. We have a ball here with a smaller magnet below. I'm gonna try to fill it with some fluid here. And then we're gonna raise it. And the ball actually moves around, or if if it's the ferrofluid, it's quite hard to see. Now I must say, this is my personal favorite effect of the ferrofluid when having that small iron ball on top of the plate and lifting it up from the magnet it create these spikes and that roost like thing in the middle and the more lighting putting on it's the more appealing it becomes. And I really like this one. So you're lifting it down, it's much smaller patterns and when lifting it up it's they become bigger and more apart from each other. Okay, I have a ball magnet as well and we're gonna try uh, a bit different behavior, not much. The other magnet I had was a was a flat round magnet.
and this is kind of different because since it's round the middle part is much closer to the plate than the sides so to say that's probably why, why they are so big spikes in the middle you can see the oil is drawn to the middle of the magnet that's why the structure around it looks like it does okay let's try a uh, round magnet again see it looks kind of different not so much when when apart maybe more like when putting the plate to the magnet Okay, so I promised as well transportation of the fluid as well and I'm gonna do it in this water bottle which I put some fair fluid in. I can gather the fair fluid and I draw the magnet apart and I have another magnet that I'm closing in on. You can see that I can shoot it over to the other side. looks like about the middle when it comes to the middle there is no stop on it it's gonna go over to the other side It's kind of difficult as well because it's uh, enough fair fluid that I can take the magnet to the bottle and actually move the bottle. So I need to not go too close to the bottle because it will move just like that. There is kind of easy to, to get control of the magnet until it reaches the middle. There it's very hard to, to keep the amount traveling over. We're gonna try with some bigger magnet now as well. I will say it's a bit easier with this one. And we can travel it up I think easier. Yeah. Uh, is, is a great difference from the smaller magnets here. Yeah, I saw this bottle is actually sold on like eBay and such things. Uh, mine I did by myself because I had bought ferro fluid. I just took a small bottle and put some water in it and had a magnet. I guess the one that you buy is probably have some something in it that don't stain the edges of the bottle or the sides of the bottle you can see mine are becoming more oily the more i play with it but it's really satisfying to, to play around with it and it's kind of fascinating Here I succeeded to just travel a little amount at a time. Kind of works pretty good.
that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed it.